Hi, I'm Tony Van Veen, CEO of Dismakers. Today I want to talk to you about a topic that I am fired up about. And I want to warn you ahead of time, I'm so worked up about this that I may just drop a choice profanity or two during this video. I read an article today that mentioned that there are now over 100 million songs on Apple Music and on Amazon Music. And while the article didn't mention it specifically, I'm certain that means there's also 100 million tracks on Spotify. 100 million. Think about it. Pretty amazing. Not only that, there are 100,000 new tracks being added to streaming services every day. That's a million new songs every 10 days. Friends, all the recorded songs in the history of recorded music just hit 100 million on streaming services, and we are on pace today to add 35 million more new songs in just the next year. Now, here's the thing that triggers me. Whenever the topic comes up of how much music is released, you have these industry bigwigs and so-called experts come out of the woodwork to complain. Case in point, just last week, Sir Lucian Grange, CEO and chairman of Universal Music Group, the largest major, said this, and I'm going to quote him verbatim. Where music platforms are ingesting 100,000 tracks a day, the net result of this is a confusing experience for all of us, consumers, everyone. They're increasingly guided to low quality content by an algorithm. We don't think that's sustainable for the platforms, nor is it sustainable for music fans. Well, you know what, Solution? Not only are you flat wrong, but nobody gives a damn about your opinion. Certainly not music fans. I am so tired at so-called industry looking down their nose at independent artists. I've heard this complaint that independent music is somehow inferior and that it diminishes the fan experience. I've heard it for over a decade and it's total bullshit. Here's why. For starters, really, is there any difference in searchability on Spotify whether there are less songs, say a relatively modest 10 million or 100 million? No. The way this works is like when you go swimming. If you know how to swim, it doesn't matter if the ocean is 10 feet or 100 feet or 1,000 feet deep. You're still bobbing along at the surface enjoying your swim. Same thing with streaming music. I don't care how many songs there are on Spotify service, so long as the independent artist that I'm searching for is easily findable. All the other millions of unknown artists and songs that I don't know, including ones on the major labels, by the way, don't matter. They are not in the way of my listening experience. Then there is the implication that somehow the majors have more of a right to get their music out there than you, the independent artist, do. Have you ever heard of the First Amendment solution? It pisses me off because it's just plain wrong. Do you, as an independent artist, have any less of a right to put out your music? No. Does the fact that you are independent and self-released mean your music sucks? No. In fact, there is so much great original independent music out there, it just maybe hasn't been discovered yet. Who is to say what's great anyway? Is the opinion of a reviewer or an A&R rep or a radio DJ or a blogger or the chairman of Universal Fucking Music Group any more valuable than that of a fan who listened to your music to get them through their recent heartbreak? Hell no. So what do you do about it? Here's what. Ignore the naysayers. Screen out those negative voices. They mean nothing to you. Make great music, give great shows, build up your fan base one at a time, starting locally. Like in the movie Field of Dreams, if you build it, they will come. You've heard it. In your case, if you work it, if you write a great song and record it and work it, they will come. It's not easy being an independent artist today. Success is hard. Making Money from your music today is hard, and I'm so freaking proud of every independent artist out there, of our Dismakers customers and others who are juggling a day job, a family, and the music grind in the hopes of getting ahead and making it. So forget about Sir Lucian Grange and all the haters of indie music. You do you. Do your music. We'll be here when you're ready.